Hey folks, welcome back to Student of the Gun Homeroom. Thank you for joining us today. We appreciate it, we really do. Now let's talk about training scars. Training scars, yeah. Training scars are things that you do over and over and over again, and you may not know why you're doing them. Now some things are good. You practice a certain way, you master that way, and you get really good at it. Now, some things that you do are silly and pointless, but you do it over and over and over again, and then you have these, what we call, training scars. Things that are not necessarily that great. Let me give you a fantastic example. A lot of guys out there, a lot of men, decide that they're going to knuckle down, they're gonna spend the money, they're gonna go to a training school. And they book a seat, and it's six months away. And they think to themselves, ooh, I don't wanna go to the school and not be good. So I'm gonna go out on my own and I'm gonna practice so that I'm really good before I go to the school. Have you had previous training? Well, no, but I don't wanna to go to the school and not be good. Why are you going to the school? Well, to learn. Are you going to the school to learn or are you going to the school to show everyone how good you are? You should be going to the school to learn. If you haven't had any training, what you're going to do is you're going to go out and you're going to instill lots and lots of training scars. You're going to do things that may not be 100% correct, effective, or efficient. You do that, then you get to the school, and what happens is the instructors have to essentially make you unlearn all those bad habits that you've built up over time. Now, am I telling you not to practice? No, I'm not telling you not to practice. But what I'm telling you is that you need to know what you're practicing and why you are practicing that thing. You'd be amazed how people will do silly stuff, not based upon any deliberate reason, just because, well, I saw a movie or I thought or somewhere I read that you should do that. Get into a school. Please, ladies and gentlemen, there's so many schools out there today. There's so much good training available to you, whether it's in Tennessee or Ohio or Arizona or Biloxi, Mississippi or Florida, California, whatever. There are good schools out there. And if you're a novice, if you're a new guy, get into a school, learn something, and then you can practice. But the picking up a gun and going out on your own to practice it before I go to the school, you're just gonna develop training scars and you're not really helping yourself. And what do I want? I want you to be a good shooter. I want you to be an efficient shooter. I want you to be a safe shooter because I love you.